Welcome again. I want to show you how to basically unshare a file. Um, unsharing a file when the collaboration is over is really, really helpful. Um, and I'll just show you how it works. So let's go into this particular file. This is the uh, movie rubric that I had before. Let's say I was looking to modify this in um, uh, collaboration with another teacher. Let's let that load. And once the file loads here, we can go up to the share option up here. It's going a little slow tonight. Okay, there we go. I've clicked on share at the top right. And here I can add sharing permissions. Okay, so let's say I've shared it with a particular person. And I've given them editing privileges and I've sent a message. And so forth. I went out a message today. So we click send. That's now shared with that person. Uh, after the period of collaboration, you can come back into the file. When you click on share on any file, it tells you who it's shared with. If you want to amend that, I'm just going to click on the name. Use the summary. I just hit a little X next to the name. Now, do note you can share with an individual person or a distribution group. So, if this was shared with, uh, for example, me, uh, TG might be secondary staff, we could share it with the secondary staff for a period of time, and then when that period was over, either change the permissions or just close it down. After that, we hit save changes. Um, this is really helpful for people just making sure that their incoming files uh, down here, share with me, I just, you know, only have really relevant files that they're still needing to collaborate on. Uh, they can move those files so they're not, you know, messing up their Google Drive, but it's really good to remember to um, unshare when that period of collaboration is over. Hopefully this is helpful.